I just add video all, so we can just start in a couple minutes. I'm still taking them. Herkese merhabalar, hoş geldiniz. Gelenleri tamamladıktan sonra kısa bir süre içerisinde başlayacağız. Etkinlik bile İngilizce olacak. Damiano Antanazo bizle birlikte olacak Isilto Morangoni'den. Kendisi sunumu İngilizce gerçekleştirecek. Sunum esnasında sorularınız olduğu takdirde Türkçe, İngilizce hiç fark etmez. Gerek mikrofonunuzu açarak gerek de chat kısmından da sorularınızı sorabilirsiniz. Türkçe yazmanıza sakınca yok. Eğer hani karışık kompleks bir şey olduğunu düşünüyorsanız da ben sorular konusunda e, çevre kısmında sizlere yardımcı olacağım. E, ufaktan başlayabiliriz. Sizleri de çok da fazla bekletmek istemiyorum. Ekran paylaşımı yapacağım. Herkese tekrardan merhabalar. Bir yandan da e, gelenleri şurada bekletelim. Bugün Akademik Türkçe Eğitim Danışmanlık e, online webinar, daha doğrusu seminer serilerinde birlikte olacağız. Bu etkinlikleri biz normal şartlarda e, her sene yine bu zaman fiziksel olarak gerçekleştiriyorduk. E, Taksim ofisimize yakın seçtiğimiz otellerde hem, e, hem eğitim şeklinde, e, okulların tanıtımı şeklinde hem de portfolyo değerlendirme günleri olarak İtalya'dan seçtiğimiz e, prestijli moda tasarım okullarını ağırlıyorduk, öğrencilerimize buluşturuyorduk. Pandemi sebebiyle bunu bu sene e, online olarak gerçekleştirmek durumundayız. Umarım kısa sürede de normal, rutin e, etkinlik planlamamıza dönebiliriz. Az önce de bahsettiğim gibi e, Instituto Marangoni, İtalya ve Dünyanın çeşitli ülkelerinde Amerika, Fransa, hatta Hindistan gibi, İtalya gibi e, çeşitli lokasyonlarda programlar imkanı sunan bir prestijli bir moda ve tasarım okulu. E, okul bünyesinde zaten birazdan da bahsedilecek lisans, yüksek lisans, short courses, diploma programları gibi e, program opsiyonları sunulmakta. Etkinlikle alakalı olarak dediğim gibi aramızda lisans için burada olanlar var, master için burada olanlar var ya da diğer kurslar için burada olanlar var. Sunum eşit ağırlıklı bir sunum olacak. Yani sadece master ya da lisansa özel değil, e, karışık gidecek bu sunum olacak. İki, iki kesime hitap edecek bu sunum olacak. Sorularınız olduğu esnada etkinlik esnasında chat kısmına yazabilirsiniz. Zaten en sonunda bir de QA session'da dilerseniz de mikrofonlarınızı açarak sorularınızı sorabilirsiniz. Marangoni ile ilgili olarak az önce de bahsettiğim gibi 1935 yılında Milano'da kurulan bir prestijli bir moda tasarım okulu. Az önce de bahsettiğim gibi lisans, diploma, master, short courses alanlarında eğitim imkanımız var. Milano, Frenze, Paris, Londra, Miami, Mumbai, Şanghay, Shenzhen gibi Çin'e kadar uzanan geniş bir ağ var ve şimdiye kadar toplam neredeyse 50 bin civarında öğrenciyi eğitim imkanı sunmuş bir okul. Bu anlamda 107 farklı ülkeden de e, dizayn alanına bakacak olursak da 4000 civarında öğrenciye eğitim verdiğini söyleyebiliriz senelik olarak. E, aranızda zaten tasarımla ilgili olanlarınız isimleri tanıdık gelecektir. Oldukça fazla prestijli ve ünlü tasarımcı ve MOBA'yı da bünyesinde barındırmış ve mezun etmiş okullardan bir tanesi Instituto Marangoni. Akademik ile alakalı kısa bir tanıtım yapacağım. Daha sonrasında da sözü Damiano'ya bırakacağım. Akademik Sürtlüş Eğitim olarak biz 96 senesinden beri sektörde var olan bir firmayız. Şimdiye kadar toplamda 42 binden fazla öğrenciyi çeşitli programlarla yurt dışına gönderdik. 300'den fazla anlaşmalı okulumuz var. 30'dan fazla ülkeyle de çalışıyoruz. Şu an e, Türkiye genelinde 12 tane şubemiz var ki bunların 5 tanesi İstanbul'da. Geri kalanlarda ekranda gördüğünüz gibi Ankara, İzmir, Bursa, Gaziantep, Kayseri, Çorlu ve Bodrum gibi lokasyonlarda da bizi bulabilirsiniz. Bugün katılımcılarımızın formlarında seçtikleri şubeye göre herkese kendisine en yakın olacağı e, şubeden bir danışman atandı. Etkinlik sonrasında bu danışmanlarımız sizlere telefon ve mail yoluyla ulaşacaklar. Sorularınız olursa ya da bugün soramadığınız sorular olursa da kendinize ulaşacak danışmanlarınızla da e, irtibat kurabilirsiniz. Zaten kendi şehrinizde bir şubemiz varsa direkt o şube atandı. Ama atıyorum Manisa, Aydın gibi bir lokasyondaysanız da İzmir şubedeki danışmanlarımız size yardımcı olacaklar. Keza diğer şehirler için de benzer bir dağılım yapacağız. Yani hepinizin birer tane 
e, danışmanız şu an itibariyle zaten var. Akademiks olarak biz çok fazla program alan, e, çok fazla program opsiyonumuz var. Birazdan zaten size bunlardan bahsedeceğim. Ama genel olarak biz öğrencilerin ihtiyaçlarına uygun programı e, tespit etmek, öğrenciye bu süreç zarfında e, ak- gerek akademik olarak, gerek ihtiyaçları çerçevesinde hem okul başvurusu kısmında hem de vize sürecinde ücretsiz bir danışmanlık hizmeti veriyoruz. Yani Marangoni'ye başvuru yapacak birisinin kendisinin başvurmasıyla akademik seviyede başvurmasının e, fiyat olarak bir farkı yok. Hatta akademikle başvurması fiyat anlamında hem ücretsiz bir danışmanlık sağlıyor hem de olası bir burs varsa ülkeye özel verilen ya da bazı durumlarda öğrenci profili bazlı bizim prestijlerimizle size sağlayabileceğiniz burslarla da siz bu imkandan faydalanabiliyorsunuz. Akademikle alakalı söylemem gereken son şey ise ödüllü bir acente olduğumuz son 5 senedir Avrupa'nın Doğu Avrupa'nın en iyi acentası ödülünü kazanıyoruz. 5 ee, senedir finale kalıyorduk. Son 3 senedir de bu ödülün sahibiyiz. Bu sene pandemi sebebiyle gerçekleşemedi ama inşallah e, ünvanımızı yine önümüzdeki senede koruma şansımız olur diye umuyoruz. Akademik bünyesindeki programlar ekranda da göreceğiniz gibi sadece bugün tasarım ve modadan ziyade aklınıza gelebilecek bütün programlarda bizim eğitim imkanımız var. Özetle Work and Travel hariç hemen hemen her şeyi yaptığımızı söyleyebilirim. Ama en çok rağbet gören programlar ise ekranda göreceğiniz üzere dil programları, lisans, master, MBA programları, TOEFL, IELTS gibi ya da e, diğer mesleki hukuk olabilir ya da tıp olabilir buna benzer mesleki alanlarda da e, sınavlara hazırlık yapabileceğiniz e, İngilizce kurslarımız mevcut. Bunun dışında diğer dillerle alakalı da zaten hizmet sunuyoruz. 18 yaş alt etin junior camps. Bunun dışında bir ya da iki yıllık yurt dışı sertifika diploma programları. Bu programlar genellikle lisans üstü master altı seviyede bir program oluyor. Ve genellikle master için çok fazla zamanı olmayan kişilere hitap eden programlar diyebiliriz ki Marangoni bünyesinde de bu programlardan var. Summer Session keza öyle. Yazın kredi saydırabileceğiniz kısa dönemli 3 ila 10 hafta süren programlar. Lise değişim programları, vize danışmanlığı, sigorta, konaklama, çeviri ve uçak bileti gibi full paket bir danışmanlık hizmetine size ücretsiz olarak sağlama şansımız oluyor öğrencilerimiz için. Detayları web sitemizden öğrenebilirsiniz. Akademiks.com.tr'ye girdiğiniz takdirde e, istediğiniz bütün programlarla alakalı sitemiz bir nevi bir ansiklopedi gibi düşünebilirsiniz. Biz sürekli update tutuyoruz. Fiyatları, programları ya da başvuru tarihlerini elimizden geldiğince e, güncel tutmaya çalışıyoruz. Sitemizden de faydalanabilirsiniz. Etkinliklerle alakalı olarak da keza zaten sitemizden de bunların duyurusunu yapıyoruz. Dediğim gibi bize ulaşmak için dilerseniz ekranda gördüğünüz info at akademiks.com.tr'den ya da e, ekranda gördüğünüz Taksim Merkez Şubemizin telefonu olan 0212 249 94 89 nolu telefondan da bizlere ulaşabilirsiniz. E, benim anlatacağım kısım bu kadar. E, şimdi ekran paylaşımını Kapatıp sözü Damiano'ya bırakacağım. Damiano, I guess ju- I just finished my turn. Uh, Fantastic. I from my hand and I'm just passing it to you. Fantastic. Thanks, Elçuk. And uh, well, uh, merhaba, everyone. Uh, merhaba. Nice to see you all here. Uh, nice to see uh, I hope that you are doing well. Uh, I'm not actually a, a, a, a good Turkish speaker. Uh, to be honest with you, is the only things that I know I just said that. Uh, but... Um, uh, There are like some other words that I could catch uh, from uh, uh, the presentation that you just saw. So um, it has been uh, already said about uh, a bit about the history of Marangoni. So uh, I'm going to share now a presentation. Uh, probably I'm going to uh, uh, going uh, quicker on the history of Marangoni and deeper in uh, the possible uh, programs that you can take. Um, Again, like first of all, thanks for being here. And uh, probably before beginning it, uh, the presentation, uh, I get asked so many times uh, uh, from uh, students who are willing to travel abroad, what is the situation now abroad uh, in Europe? And as you saw from the presentation, you see that Marangoni is uh, uh, located in uh, different cities, uh, Milan, Florence, uh, Paris, uh, London, uh, And um, I can say that the situation is uh, heavily improving. 
Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, the campus in London is going to be open uh, and probably for good, uh, starting from 10th of April. Uh, the vaccination campaign in the uh, UK is uh, very much ahead, so uh, the, the campus is going to start again to have offline uh, lessons, so face-to-face. -face. Um, Paris uh, never closed, even in uh, November and December, that have been uh, a very uh, difficult period in lockdown uh, everywhere. And uh, Milan is uh, uh, now offering a blended model, which is online and offline, uh, but uh, we are probably getting out of this uh, uh, at the end of uh, the next month. Uh, also here, the vaccination campaign is going very well. Myself, I did the vaccine yesterday, so uh, it's working. And uh, hopefully with um, uh, the help of everyone, we should be out of this situation quite soon. Uh, in short, in October 2021, which is our next intake, we are planning to start all programs in all our campuses on a face-to-face -face model, as uh, it used to be for the last uh, 85 years, uh, uh, 86 years at Marangoni. So having said that, uh, uh, I'm going to um, start like a, a little bit uh, uh, with uh, a history of Instituto Marangoni that has been founded, uh, as I said, 86 years ago, um, 1935 uh, from a man, by a man called uh, uh, Giulio Marangoni, who was a designer. And uh, he decided to open uh, um, a school uh, to share his experience uh, with future professionals that then became uh, very big names uh, in the fashion industry. Uh, you already saw some of them, but apart from Domenico Dolce or Franco Moschino, we can name uh, uh, Alessandro Precoraro or uh, Alessandra Facchinetti working for uh, Gucci, Todd's, uh, uh, Moncler, uh, Mr. Alessandro Caccamo, who uh, is now one of the senior designer at uh, Valentin. Uh, where has been founded the school? The school has been founded in Milano, which is our most historical uh, campus. But as you can see, starting from 2003, uh, a big uh, internationalization process uh, began at Marangoni, and uh, we opened up in London, Paris, Shanghai, uh, Firenze, Shenzhen, Mumbai, and three years ago, Miami. As we speak, uh, we are now able to enroll uh, and accept application for international students uh, in our European campuses. So Milano, London, Paris, and Firenze. Uh, for other campuses, we are still uh, basically waiting for some kind of accreditation, uh, especially in Miami, uh, which is uh, a very beautiful uh, campus, campus located in the design district. Uh, we should have had the accreditation in 2020, but due to the situation, uh, we are experiencing some delay and we should have it at the end of uh, this uh, year, so 2021. Uh, well, you can see that basically it's, uh, especially the European campus, uh, uh, the location is uh, the what cities consider to be uh, fashion, art and design work capital. So what is in common with all Marangoni schools? Uh, it is actually four things that you can find everywhere. It's uh, Italianiness, so not just uh, the Italian sense of beauty or style, but it's uh, the Italian teach teaching methodology that combines perfectly theory and practice. And when it comes to creative studies, uh, practice uh, is uh, very much important. The location of the schools, not just uh, in uh, the fashion and design capitals, but it's in the very central area where the industry is located. So the showrooms, uh, the companies, the, the shops, uh, the concept stores, uh, everything is around the Instituto Marangoni. Uh, it is important not just because it's a prestigious location, but it's important for the inspiration. Every creative project starts with an idea, and the idea comes from an inspiration. And so if students can get the inspiration right from the industry, as soon as they walk in or out of the school, it's a very big advantage. And being in these locations, that allows us to have professional teachers. Uh, one example, uh, Giulia Bedoni, uh, which is a former Instituto Marangoni student, uh, finished her studies uh, roughly 10 years ago. Then she's been working for the Prada Group, uh, Miu Miu, for seven years. And now she's doing her projects. And at the same time, she's one of the best lecturer at Instituto Marangoni. So 
getting experience from the school and then sharing experience with the students after the industry um, collaboration. And uh, practice, industry link, well, the, the practice at Instituto Marangoni is done through real project. So students usually learn by doing. How is that done? We have projects done by the students during their studies in the university. So basically where a company comes to the school, gives the brief, so an idea to the students, and then the students work on this brief and do the project. Uh, the second, and we have this collaboration in the three-year programs and in the master level. Then, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit deeper at the end of the presentation, we also have uh, internship available for some three-year programs and for most of our master. The internship is something which is included in the program and it's the school that will find for all students uh, this internship. Um, collaboration with the industry, you can see here uh, three of the uh, most important personalities uh, uh, that would like, that, that decided to be brand ambassador of the school. Anna De Russo, uh, the famous uh, uh, editor at Vogue and uh, probably one of the first uh, uh, fashion influencers, uh, taking care of, uh, well, brand ambassador of Instituto Marangoni Fashion. Uh, in the middle, Mr. Giulio Cappellini, the famous designer, architect, and probably one of the most important uh, talent scouts uh, in the design industry, uh, part of the family Cappellini of the famous brand. Uh, we can say that over the last uh, 40 years, uh, probably all uh, the most important designers, product designers, uh, furniture designers, and light designers have been working uh, at some point uh, with Cappellini that takes care of Instituto Marangoni Design Milan. Uh, and Hermano Cervino, uh, founder of uh, the famous brand Cervino, is the brand ambassador of Instituto Marangoni Firenze. Uh, in the next uh, four slides, I'm going to show you some pictures of our campuses, uh, and not because I want to talk about buildings, uh, but I want to talk about uh, locations and uh, possibilities. So, as I mentioned, Instituto Marangoni offers the same level of preparation and practice in all our campuses. So what is the difference and why should you choose one school instead of the other? What you can see now is the Milano Fashion School, uh, the most historical building at Instituto Marangoni, and uh, which is located basically 15 meters from the famous Quadrilatero della Moda. Uh, we have like next door uh, this square in front we have uh, Tom Ford and the Via Monte Napoleone is just 50 meters away. Uh, Milano is uh, still the most important fashion week in the world. Um, it's also very much related to styling and communication uh, and uh, the style that characterized uh, the Milano fashion is definitely the Prata Porte. So these things can be taken in consideration when uh, you will make your final decision. In Milano, we also have the Milano School of Design. If it's very well known, Milano as the fashion capital, uh, you must remember that uh, uh, Milano is hosting, uh, has been hosting for the last uh, 50 years, uh, the most important design event in the world. Furniture design, light design, interior design, uh, it's called the Salone del Mobile or the Milano Design Week. Apart from last year, for obvious reason, uh, the design week is always in April and it's uh, a place uh, and a time in which all designers from all over the world come to the uh, city to show the new trends. Uh, this year uh, should have been in April, but it's been postponed to September. Uh, so if you want to study uh, design, product design, interior design, or even graphic design, uh, Milano is definitely a wise choice. Um, Firenze, we are located in this beautiful historical building in the very center of one of the most beautiful cities in the world, the cradle of Renaissance. Uh, this is why uh, in Marangoni Firenze, uh, we offer not only fashion programs, but also art related programs. But uh, it's important to underline that Firenze is also a world fashion capital. Most of the luxury accessories are produced in Firenze or around the city in the Regione Toscana. Uh, shoes, uh, bags, uh, leather goods, uh, jewelry design, everything is located there. So if you want to take this direction, then try to be closer to the industry and then try to choose Firenze. 
London. Uh, London is definitely uh, the city very well known for the fashion trends, street style, but probably is also uh, the city in which is easier to build your own business. So if you have an idea of a startup uh, or thinking of uh, fashion buying, fashion promotion, luxury brand management, uh, um, you can also calculate London, which is the only other campus at Marangoni offering also design programs. And uh, not uh, less important, uh, starting from last year, uh, UK is uh, able now to give uh, two years uh, work permit uh, after graduation, uh, BA level or master program. So it's a very good advantage if you want to stay in the country and try to build your career. And the last campus is Paris. Paris, of course, is uh, the home of haute couture. So if your dream is to work in Chanel, Hermès or Lanvin, then uh, you can be closer to the industry in this beautiful city uh, where our campus is located. So this is city by city. But if you want to make your experience at Marangoni even more interesting, open, wide and international, you can do the intercampus. So you can choose one city and end your three-year program in another one. First year in Milano, second and third in Paris. First year in London, second and third in Milano. So you can build up your program uh, depending on your needs. It's important to have the last two years in the same campus uh, so to get the accreditation. Accreditation, which uh, we have in all campuses. Uh, you can see them now on the screen and I'm going to go really briefly uh, in depth. Um, Milano and Firenze, our three-year programs, almost all of them are accredited by AFAM, which is the uh, acronym for the Italian Ministry of Education. Uh, not all of them. Uh, we have the exception of fashion styling and fashion business that are not officially recognized bachelor in Milano, but still you can get the accreditation and I will explain you uh, how. Uh, London and Paris, uh, all programs are accredited by MMU, which is the acronym of Manchester Metropolitan University. And then in Paris, we also have an additional accreditation, which is CNCP, which is a French professional accreditation. So at the end of your studies at Instituto Marangoni, you will get an Instituto Marangoni diploma. But if you're looking for a BA honors, so a bachelor or a master, then you can see that we have all accreditations. As I mentioned, the intercampus, uh, suppose that you want to study fashion business or fashion styling in Milano, which is not with the accreditation of the ministry, you can take the first year in Milano, second and third in Paris, or second and third in London, and you will get the accreditation by Manchester Metropolitan University. So as you can see, basically all programs have uh, the accreditation. Uh, what kind of programs? And here I'm going to talk about the majors uh, and the type of programs is possible to take at Marangoni. Foundation year, which is the preparation before the bachelor. So before the three-year program, right after school. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. So in product found in design foundation, you will get uh, interior product and graphic design. In the fashion foundation, you will get uh, fashion styling, fashion design, and fashion business. Is it mandatory to do the, fashion, the foundation before the bachelor? Uh, only in certain cases. If you have uh, uh, a Turkish high school diploma, then uh, you don't need to think about the foundation. You can jump uh, right into the three-year course, uh, which is uh, the Bachelor of Arts, which is lasting, as you can see, three years. Then uh, after university, if you already have a degree, uh, which is not related to design or not related to fashion, but you want to be a designer, then you can take the one-year intensive course. One-year intensive course is uh, a program that I personally like very much. It's the most intensive program at the Instituto Marangoni and gives you, without any previous knowledge, all the skills necessary to start designing or the skills necessary to start the master right after that. And if you already have a bachelor, so university degree in the creative field, then you can right start the master program with our Marangoni uh, last one year. The last kind of program that we have uh, that uh, Selchuk mentioned also in his presentation is the short courses. Short courses is two, three or four weeks introductory. So suppose that you are thinking about fashion or thinking about design, but you did not decide yet what is your, uh, well, the best BA for you. 
then you can come for two, three, four weeks in the summertime and decide what is the best option for your future studies. Now that you've seen what are the types of program that we can offer, let's see what you can study. So the majors. Uh, I'm not going to mention all the programs because they are really, really, really many. I'm going to mention the main direction. And then if you have specific questions, uh, please feel free to ask them at the end of the presentation. Fashion area, we offer fashion design, which is how to create a collection from the idea to the fashion show. So uh, inspiration, research, sketches, technical sketches, uh, um, sewing and pattern making. Uh, here we get different specializations such as women's wear, men's wear, uh, sportswear and also accessories. Fashion styling is the creation of uh, images. So if you want to work in the fashion industry but don't want to design, then uh, fashion styling probably is the, the perfect fit because it's uh, how to create a mood or an image for a magazine, for a fashion show, for a brand, uh, for a person, if you're talking about personal shopper or image maker. So fashion styling is how to be creative without uh, the need of designing. And if you want to work in the business side of the fashion industry, then fashion business offer different programs such as fashion promotion, luxury brand management, uh, fashion communication and so forth. Not interested in fashion, then we have our campuses in design in Milano and London, where you can find interior design in Marangoni, very much related to fashion and luxury. Then we have product design, and thanks to the collaboration with Capellini is very uh, related to uh, furniture design and lighting design. And the last uh, uh, that you can see here is visual design. What is visual design? It's graphic design with the addition of communication. So not just the good skills, technical skills as a graphic designer, but also good communication skills in order to make your design even more understandable. And uh, if you're interested in art, only in Firenze, Florence, you can find art programs, multimedia arts or arts management uh, in Firenze uh, for the moment. Um, these are the main areas of studies, the majors. Uh, what you need to um, what you need to start these programs, I'm going to mention the main requirements for three-year programs, BA and uh, master program. So you finish school, you want to enter a BA, you need to present your motivation letter, which is the personal statement, uh, pers pass, uh, the copy of your passport, uh, your high school diploma. And then uh, depending if your choice is for a creative program, such as fashion design or fashion styling or interior design or product design, you need to present your portfolio. The portfolio is uh, a creative portfolio that should be made of six creative ideas. Anything that can express your creativity related to design. Sketches, technical sketches, mood board collages, uh, pictures, videos, anything. And the format is completely free. So you choose what is the best way to represent yourself. If you want to apply for the fashion business or art management program, then there is going to be a short test, uh, skill test with uh, 10 questions, multiple choice on uh, fashion or uh, art industry that you can easily take home and you can use all the research tools. Uh, this is not, uh, what is important in this skill test is uh, the research that you make, not the knowledge that you already have. Uh, if you don't know how to sketch or you are uh, afraid of not being able to present a portfolio, a creative portfolio, don't panic. Uh, you can create two mood boards such as those that you can see on the screen. You can take, uh, uh, elements already existing in the fashion or design industry from Pinterest, Instagram, uh, websites, uh, magazines, uh, uh, trend sites, uh, and you can put together your personal mood board. So this is your idea on fashion or on design using what is already existing. I'm sure that you will have a question on, on this topic so please feel free to ask them uh, in five minutes when the presentation is going to be over. Uh, you already have a university degree, then in order to apply for the one year master program, you need to have motivation letter, passport, university degree, two reference letter. And here the story is a little bit different. If the BA requires a creative portfolio, 
The master requires a professional portfolio. So it should be from five to 10 of your projects already realized when uh, during university or if you're working, then it's going to be uh, enough. Um, every year we help students, uh, talented students uh, to uh, fulfill their dreams uh, to become uh, uh, Istituto Marangoni students uh, through our competition for scholarships. Um, how does that work? Uh, it's pretty easy. We have that twice per year. Uh, usually we have it in spring for who wants to start in October and we have it in autumn for those who want to start in February. We have two intakes. You can start either in October or in the winter time in February. You need to present your portfolios and the best portfolio can win uh, uh, sometimes 5,000 euro of the tuition fee or for even more interesting scholarships uh, opportunities we get up to 50% of the tuition fee. And as Istituto Marangoni is a very expensive institution, a very expensive school, then this could be a very appreciated financial help. Um, here, uh, the last competition that we had just uh, closed uh, 10 days ago. Uh, we are going to have a, a new one open in, in April. Uh, so you can stay in tuned with our website or with academics that you're going to share in uh, formations. But just to give you an idea, when the competition is open, you go on the website, on the dedicated page, and it's really, really easy. You click on uh, the apply for a scholarship button. You just need to upload your uh, documents, motivation letter, passport, and the portfolio. And within, uh, let's say, 10, two weeks, uh, well, 10 days or two weeks, uh, you will get the answer from the commission. So stay tuned because the new scholarship opportunities are coming. And the last thing that I want to talk about today is uh, something that I already mentioned at the beginning, but I'm going to show what does it mean to work with the industry and do special projects. Uh, we have the internship, as I mentioned, during the three-year program, in Milano and in Firenze, and during all the master programs that we have in Firenze, London, and Paris. And then we do collaboration with the industry before the graduation in all our programs. Uh, if you want to have a look at uh, the level of preparation of our students, uh, you can go on this website, which is called House of Istituto Marangoni. Uh, I'm going to just share with you uh, sorry, I'm just closing the presentation and opening the website, uh, which is the one that I mentioned. So if you can see now my screen, uh, House of Istituto Marangoni. You don't need to register. It's an open platform. You just uh, write in the search box and you re reach this uh, uh, pink page. And you can see that we divided our projects in fashion, design, and art. You are interested in fashion, click on fashion. And you have the collection of the most important programs that our students did during the three-year program or the master degree in the last two years. In, for example, fashion styling, fashion business, uh, fashion design. And if you want to see some projects uh, done with the industry, you click on fashion industry. And here you have uh, the name of the student, uh, uh, the country, for example, I see that we have uh, uh, Baza Kutch, uh, uh, Turkish students, uh, and uh, other. Uh, you can just uh, click on uh, what they did. Well, this is uh, an, an Italian student so working for Versace. Uh, you have the name, the company, the campus where she studied, the description of the program, the, of the project. And then here you have uh, all the pictures of this uh, project. So you can take as much time as you want and go and see what is the best uh, projects and something that can inspire you. Uh, here, you also have the videos. Uh, I did not show videos today because uh, we discussed with Selchuk that sometimes uh, it's not really clear. So you can, again, access this platform and uh, you have uh, the videos that we did last year. Unveil Milano, Equilibrium in London, 10 rooms in Paris, you just click. You open the video and you are ready to go. So I'm not going to show the video because again, like we, we might have some technical problem, but I can show you how to do it. And uh, as I know that uh, many students in Turkey are really interested in design, 
you can do the same for design. You open the design, you have interior design, product design, visual design, the video with the collection of the best project and also the design industry. So to see where and how students work in the last couple of years. Very interesting tool, again, open access. So take some time and try to get inspired by that. And uh, I think that uh, probably we are going to be at almost at the end of the presentation. Just let me check. I'm going to share that again. And uh, well, uh, this is just a, a couple of numbers uh, really related to the placement. So the placement rates uh, over 90% and 80% uh, uh, working in the industry within one year after graduation. Uh, this uh, survey has been done not by Marangoni, but by uh, a partner uh, company called the Deloitte Business uh, Advisory. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, really the last uh, slide. Uh, Don, then I am going to, uh, to close the presentation and leave it for your question. Uh, it's something that I added uh, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, it's the internship, some of the best internship done uh, in uh, Paris by our students in 2020. So 2020, everybody will remember this year and it's been really difficult. And uh, honestly, we had some doubts that it was going to be possible to place students in companies in that difficult period. But our colleagues in Paris have been, for example, able to place uh, uh, some of the students at Louis Vuitton, La Boutin, Bulgari, Lambin, Saint Laurent, and so forth. Uh, this is just uh, Paris because I received uh, this statistic uh, from the campus, uh, but also for London, uh, Firenze, and Milano, we have this level of commitment and this level of placement. And this, again, has been done in a very difficult year. So this is the end of my speech. I hope that you get, uh, you've got more information about uh, who we are and what we do and how we do it. And uh, as I said, I'm uh, really open to all your questions and uh, would be glad to answer them all. And I see that you stayed here. Almost all of you are still here. So I am glad that you did not get bored. <laughs> Thank you very much, Damiano. Actually, it was really nice presentation for me to refresh everything. And also, I hope it was also enjoyable for the participants as well. So I guess we just finish all the things about presentation. Now I will ask if they have any questions. Yeah, probably uh, just something that I didn't mention, but it's worth to mention is the language of teaching. Uh, Marangoni is an international school. Uh, we have English as a language of uh, teaching everywhere, including Paris. In Paris, uh, we don't have uh, lessons in French. It's only English. Uh, the only country where you can choose is Italy, because in Italy you can choose either English or Italian. So if you speak Italian, you can take your courses in Italian. If not, you will get uh, the English uh, lessons. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the additional info. We just had the first question about, is it possible to get into master product design programs with an architecture bachelor's? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, uh, something that happened quite often uh, in the 80s, uh, most, the, the most important product designers uh, of the golden era of uh, Italian design uh, were all architects uh, by background. Uh, at that time, there was no faculty in product design. So the best background, the technical background for product design and interior design was architecture. So the answer is yes, also because uh, uh, you are going to use the same tools uh, such as the CAD for the planning uh, or uh, I don't know, 3D Max for the rendering. Uh, uh, possible, definitely possible. Thank you. İpek Hanım sorunuza yanıt olarak zaten aldığınızı umuyorum. Tekrar etmem gerekirse de product design alanında master yapmak isteyen kişilerin architecture alanında lisans eğitimi almasının hiçbir sakıncası yok. Hatta artı olarak E, faydası bile olduğunu söyledi. 80'li yıllarda e, özellikle zaten mimarlık backgroundlı kişilerin product design alanında uzmanlaştığını belirtti ki keza o dönemde product design alanında özel bir bölüm olmadığı için de genelde bu bölümü okuyan kişilerin de mimarlık mezunu olduğunu belirtti Damiano. We got second question. I want to know that we, when I graduate from Marangoni, what is my possibility of finding a job, especially in other European countries? 
and okay. that will provide then opportunities for this. Yeah, uh, Lara, it's a very interesting question. And uh, let me answer like this. Um, as you saw in the presentation, Marangoni helps students uh, to find the internship. Uh, and you have, uh, well, several times uh, in which you can show uh, your talent to the companies. The master program, for example, uh, is divided in three terms, and each term is a real project with a company. Then you have an internship. So in one year, you already have four times in which you can show your talents to the industry, and so try to place yourself after your studies. But your question uh, is interesting for another thing, because uh, you mentioned, for example, in European country. Uh, it, with the knowledge that you have after Marangoni, it's possible to work everywhere. But one important thing is documents. So if you study, for example, in London, uh, you can get at the end of the program a two years uh, work permit. So you have two years in which you can stay and find a job. In most of other countries, you need to have a job in order to stay. So you need to uh, have uh, the extension of your permit to stay. In Milano, uh, in all our bachelor programs, accredited by the Italian Ministry of Education, students will get an extra year. So one year of extension of the permit to stay in which you can stay legally in Italy and work full time. In Paris, usually is uh, if the program ends in July, the permit of stay ends in December. So you still have some buffer, some months in which you can stay and find a job. So it's possible to work everywhere. With the preparation, you must be careful with the documents. So if you graduate in Milano, it's going to be difficult to go in London and find a job there. It's probably better if you stay in the same city because you will be legally allowed to stay and work. Thank you for the answer. Uh, Lara Hanım, sorunuzun yanıtı olarak uh, Damiano bunun mümkün olduğunu söyledi. Tekrar etmem gerekirse de e, zaten bu Avrupa'da hemen hemen bütün lokasyonlarda, bütün destinasyonlarda mümkün. Eğitim sonrası kalmak ve iş bulabilme imkanı. Ancak Damiano'nun da söylediği gibi İtalya bu anlamda e, Fransa'ya nazaran daha fazla imkan sunuyor. İtalya'da hatta e, söylediği üzere diğer ülkelerde eğitim kalabilmeniz için bir iş bulmanız gerekirken İtalya'da e, iş bulmasanız bile bir yıl boyunca kalıp bu anlamda gerek iş aramayı gerek mevcut hali hazırda bulduğunuz işte çalışma imkanınız var. Fakat burada Fransa'nın bir farkından bahsetti. Fransa'da Temmuz'da biten bir programın e, aralığa kadar bir kalış izni vereceğinden bahsetti ve bu anlamda okuduğunuz şehirde kalmak ve okuduğunuz şehirdeki iş imkanlarını kovalamak çok daha faydalı olacak. Söylediği şeylerden bir tanesi de e, okuduğunuz şehirde iş imkanına bakmanızın artısı olacağını söylerken de Atıyorum İtalya'da eğitim almış birisinin Londra'da iş aramasının çok mantıklı olmayacağını söyledi. Eğitim aldığınız kampüsün bulunduğu şehirde gelecek olanaklarıyla alakalı fırsatlar kovalayabilirsiniz. Rica ederiz. We got another question. Is there any uh, internship opportunities during the three years bachelor study? Uh, are those jobs are in pay? Okay, so uh, the answer is yes for Milano and Firenze. So the three-year programs in Milano and Firenze, uh, interior design, product design, graphic and visual design, fashion design, uh, they offer an internship which is last uh, uh, from two to three months and it's done in the third year, so at the end of the studies. Uh, how paid is that? Uh, it depends on the company. Uh, sometimes we get the minimum wage for an internship, which is 500 euro, uh, but it depends on the company. So it should be 500 euro, the, the, the, the minimum paid for the, for the internship during studies. Thank mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I just assume that you are Turkish. <laughs> I look like, probably. <laughs> Ee, sorunun cevabı evet Nazlı Hanım. Ee, internship esnasında kazanç var ama çok yüksek değil. Minimum wage yani askeri itibarda aylık 500 lira gibi bir kazanç sağlanıyor. Design alanında e, özellikle eğitimin, fashion design alanında eğitimin son kısmında, son sonrasında çeşitli internship imkanları var ve bunlar da maaşlı olarak sunuluyor. Türkiye'de iç mimarlık mezunu olup Milano'da İtalyanca olarak iç mimarlık alanında master'ı yapılabilir mi? 
is it a bit com uh, complex question. I really like the question, by the way. Simgan, teşekkürler. If anyone who just graduated about interior design in Turkey, is there any chance uh, to work in Italy at the same major, which is interior design, but in Italian? Work without studying? Uh, no, I, I'm asking about the master study. Anyone, you just assume that the, a student who just graduated from interior design in Turkey, and she or he is seeking for an opportunity to study master in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's actually possible. It's possible to uh, to start the master, uh, to finish the master, and stay then in Italy to work. Um, if you already have a graduation, so if you have a university degree in interior design, of course you have the technical preparation, the technical skills. What uh, our program, master program, gives is again the collaboration with the company so you will be able to enhance these skills and practice them with real companies he's also she's also asking about the language of the education so it's possible to make the degree in italian of course yes so what is the requirements for italian for italian the requirement is uh, the level b2 which is upper intermediate uh, but uh, as uh, it is in italian we don't need a specific certificate so any certificate uh, of any language school that can certify that your level is B2 is going to be fine. Uh, yeah. If someone is asking for the bachelor, then uh, it should be B1. Mm -hmm. You also exempt the Italian requirements when you just made an interview or any other mock-up interview with the students. Do you, do you waive the Italian requirements with the interview, by the way? Uh, we don't have like mock-up interview, but uh, for the AFAM program, so for the programs accredited by the ministry in Italian in Italy, then the uh, the interview is mandatory. It's a mandatory part of the admission process. So in these cases, we can evaluate this <laughs> without uh, the certificate. Okay. Bunun mümkün olduğunu söyledi. İtalyanca olması için de lisansla B1, master için de B2 seviyesinde İtalyancanızın olması gerekecek. Ee, İtalya'da benzer alanda master yapabilmeniz için. Ancak bu kısımda e, herhangi bir official test olmadığı için bunu test edebilecekleri herhangi bir okuldan ya da kurstan alabileceğiniz B2 sertifikası değerlendirecek. Tabii ki e, kabullerde mülakat esnasında dil kısmı önemli olduğu için bu kısmı da evvelde değerlendireceklerini söylediler. Another question regarding the scholarship competition. Ee, gördüğüm kadarıyla burs yarışmaları söz konusu. Bu yarışmalara katılmak için belli bir kriter söz konusu mu? Ee, yoksa başvuru yapmak isteyen herkes başvurabilir mi? Bir de yarışma sonucuna göre başvurumuzu yapma ya da yapmama şansımız oluyor mu? The question has two different parts. The first part is, is there any uh, entrance criteria about these scholarship competitions? Anyone who would like to apply, can they apply or is there any minimum requirements to be eligible to apply in it? Well, actually, you must have the requirements uh, of the program that you choose. So, for example, if you want to enter a scholarship for the bachelor, then you must have an high school diploma, you must have a portfolio, motivation letter, and, uh, uh, and basically that's it. So, if you have these requirements, you can apply. Mm -hmm. uh, for a master, you must have a university degree, portfolio, and uh, uh, two recommendation letters. Okay. Lisans için daha basit, portfolio, diploma, ve motivasyon mektubu. Master için de keza yine diploma, e, portfolio ve iki tane de tavsiye mektubuyla herkesin başvurabileceğini söyledi. The second part of the question, e, can, they, can they have any option whether to apply or not apply based on the result of the competition? Well, uh, the next competition that we will have not only in London but in uh, all of our campuses is going to be in April. We're going to have a competition for the master degrees, which is co-branded. It means that every master is in collaboration with the company. So you need to actually not just do the portfolio, but you need to work on the project. Uh, then also in April, we will have a competition together with Vogue Talents. And here also you need to prepare a project. This is why these two competitions are going to be open for all April and May. You have time to do the projects, and then if your project is selected by the commission, Vogue Talents or the company, then you can get up to 50% of the tuition fee. Bu anlamda 
E, bursla ala, burs yarışması ile alakalı iki tip burs yarışması olduğunu söyledi. Birisi co-branded firmaların bir nevi sponsor olduğu burslar. Bir tanesi de talent, yetenek bazlı olduğunu söyledi. Her ikisinde de portfolyo ve hazırlayacağınız e, yeteneğinizi ispat edebilecek herhangi bir performans kabul edilebiliyor. Ve bunların e, sonrasında değerlendirmede eğer başarılı olursanız da 150'ye kadar varan burslardan da faydalama şansınız oluyor ki akabinde de başvuru yapıp yapmamak e, size kalıyor. Yani kayıt yapmadan da burs yarışmasına katıl e, şey yapabilirsiniz. Foundation year kimler için geçerli? Uh, another question regarding the foundation year. Who are eligible for the foundation year? She's asking. Okay, well, first of all, I would like to thank those students who are writing in Italian. Uh, very much appreciated, like uh -huh. Singe or Misra. Uh, prego, we say like in Italian. Uh, regarding the foundation, um, the, the requirement is pretty easy. Basically, you must have uh, an high school diploma and uh, know the language, uh, Italian or English. Uh, do you need the foundation? If you have a high school diploma and you already know the BA that you want to take, you don't need it. Sometimes it happened that uh, some students are following uh, the American curriculum or UK curriculum at high schools. And here, for example, for the American curriculum, you must have, in order to enter the BA, three APs, advanced placement. If you don't have them, then here the foundation is needed. But if you have like a regular uh, Turkish high school diploma, then the foundation is not needed. Türkiye için söylediği üzere, e, Türkiye'de genel bir lise mezunu için foundation yıl yılının e, olmadığını, e, gerekli olmadığını söyledi. I, uh, did, did I hear you correct? If, if, if anyone who just graduated from regular Turkish high school, will they not need to foundation year, right? Not need the foundation year. Okay. They yeah. just need the, the YKS uh, with the minimum of 150 points. Okay. E, 150 puan e, zaten Türkiye'deki YKS'den aldığınız takdirde lise mezuniyetiniz sizi e, foundation yıldan muaf tutacak. Another question regarding the acceptance rates for your three year courses. Uh, to be honest with you, we don't have a lot of boundaries, uh, so we have a high acceptance rate uh, because, as you saw, uh, we don't request, uh, we don't require the students to be already prepared. We want motivated students that will become professional during their studies. So we don't put boundaries. We just want to see their motivation, their creativities. But it's not that difficult to enter the BA. It's more difficult to enter the master degree. Uh... Damyan'ın da söylediği gibi açıkçası BA yani 3 yıllık lisans kursları için girişler o kadar da hani e, motivasyon kırıcı şekilde çok fazla katı değil. Master'da daha seçici olduklarını söylediler. Master, e, lisansa baktıkları şey daha çok yetenek ve e, tabii ki e, bölüme girişle alakalı motivasyon çok fazla zorlamadıklarını söyledi. Another question from Selen Demir. She's asking for the London campus. How does the accommodation work? Are they any dorms? And are there any other scholarships? Okay, well, actually, this is a question that uh, has the same answer for all campuses. Uh, we don't have students' dorm, uh, so Marangoni does not have uh, uh, doesn't own a student dorm. So we have collaboration with some uh, students' residents or uh, um, real estate agencies and working exclusively for Isidro Marangoni and our students. And depending on your needs and your budget, it's possible to find a room or a flat or a student's residence. Uh, in London, it's uh, very easy to find a student's residence because they are many and we have good ones uh, close to the school. Uh, while in other campuses like Paris or Milano, most of the students uh, live in flats or rooms. We also help students to find the accommodation via real estate agencies. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we actually link them to this uh, agency that will follow up and find the perfect location. Okay. Soru bize istinaden Serin Hanım, zaten diğer katılımcılarımızın bilgisi olması için tercüme ediyorum bu arada. Sadece Londra üzerinde değil, Marangon üzerindeki diğer kampüsleri de kapsıyor. Kendilerinin ait, kendilerine ait bir yurt yok ancak bu anlamda çeşitli anlaşmaları var emlak şirketleriyle. Özellikle Londra'da çok fazla imkan sunabiliyorlar. Bu imkanlar dahilinde de öğrenciler isterlerse yurt, isterlerse flat ya da apartment opsiyonlarını 
sağlayabiliyorlar. Hepsinin farklı fiyat kriterleri var. Pırıl Koçak diğer sorumuz. Türkiye'de uzman doktorum. İtalya'da doktor olarak devam etmem için neler yapmam gerekiyor? Aslında Pırıl Hanım maalesef ki e, tasarımla alakalı bir event. O yüzden de e, sorunuzun maalesef ki Damiano için bir soru değil. E, o yüzden bu soruyu yanıtlayacak. She's asking how to be a doctor. Actually, the accredited doctor in Italy. She's asking for it. That's why. Uh, doctor like medic. Yes. Well, uh, something I can answer, but uh, I mean, uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty long. I mean, I think that uh, there are like a lot of universities. Uh, you need to study at least four years plus two years of specialization. Yes. Uh, can I get the answer, by the way, again? Uh, the, for this one, uh, we have like a lot of universities like where you can become a medic. Uh, as far as I know, you need to study four years uh, and then uh, at least two years of specialization. Zaten e, Pruan soru dediği gibi altı tuttuk ama e, Damian Bey yine de cevabı aldık. İki yıllık bir specialized eğitim almanız gerekiyor ki İtalya'da e, specialized takdir yani o zaman doktor e, şeyi alabilmeniz için. Bununla alakalı Marangoni profilinde yok bu ama e, danışmanlarımıza ulaşırsanız ki zaten e, bütün katılımcılarımıza birer tane danışman hesap edildi. Sorunuzla alakalı olarak belki e, söyleyebilecekleri ekstra bir şey olur. Bakırköy ofisinize yönlendirilmişsiniz. E, zaten Bakırköy ofisimiz size dönüş yapacak. E, Simge Hanım'dan İtalyanca bir yanıt gelmiş. Mutsa Hanım'dan da keza öyle. Nazlı sorusu. When the opening takes for the 2022? Uh, we are going to have February 2022 and October 2022. Uh, the list of the programs is going to probably be ready by October 21. So in October 21, we will have the full academic offer for the next year. Well, October 2021 itibariyle hem program listeleri açıklanması ile birlikte. Uh, actually, the question is different. She was not asking about the intake dates. She's asking when she can be eligible to have an application. Ah, okay. Uh, probably starting from October is the same answer because uh, usually we close uh, the intake. So suppose no. Uh, look, if, if if it's for February 2022, then she can apply in summer. So summer 21, you already can apply for uh, February 2022. If it's October 22, then starting from October 21, it's possible to, to apply for October 22. Efe Bey sorusu var, özelden sormuş. Ancak e, maalesef ki program portfolyomuzun, yani bugünün, bugünkü topuğun dışında tarih bölümüyle alakalı sormuş. Ama tarihle alakalı yine yardımcı olabiliriz tabii ki. Sadece Marangoni ile alakalı yardımcı olamıyoruz ama Tarihle alakalı da keza İtalya'da e, bakmamız lazım, bir program araştırması yapmamız lazım ama zaten akademik olarak bizim portfolyomuzda farklı ülke opsiyonlarında da tarih imkanı, e, tarih eğitimi, tarih lisansı yapma şansınız var. E, danışmanlarımıza ulaşabilirseniz, peki zaten onlar size ulaşacak, sorunuzun yanıtını alabiliriz. Bengisu Hanım'dan bir soru daha var. Do you have three year courses with French as native language? Unfortunately not. Also in Paris, uh, we have uh, all programs in English. We used to have them, but uh, most of the students decided to speak in English, so we cancelled the French courses. Uh, the answer, to, the next one is not that question actually. Academic studies in the bursar sekmesi kirsmai güncel doğru mudur? Academic studies in the bursar mes güncel. Sadece İtalya için değil, diğer ülkeler için de zaten bizim e, duyurduğumuz burslar var. İngiltere'de özellikle farklı opsiyonlar var. Burslarla alakalı bilgi almak isterseniz keza yine sitemizdeki burslar sekmesinden e, up to date bilgiler alabilirsiniz. Suudi Hanım'ın sorusu, e, Avrupa Birliği vatandaşları ile Türk vatandaşları arasında herhangi bir fiyat farkı var mı? Güzel bir soru. Damiano, the, the next question is regarding the fees difference between the EU and Turkish students. Is there any price difference between those two students? Uh, yes, uh, uh, it's roughly four or five thousand euro. Uh, it depends on the program because we have uh, really, for example, our bachelor in fashion design is uh, twenty seven thousand euro, but our bachelor in multimedia arts in Firenze is uh, eighteen thousand euro. So uh, usually the difference between EU and non-EU is uh, four thousand euro, less for EU students. Okay. 
Yani çok da fazla fark etmiyor. O yaklaşık 4000 euro civarında bir fark oluşuyor. Diğer ülkelerde bu fark çok daha devasa. Mesela bir Kanada'da, bir Amerika'da baktığınız zaman lokaller için bir 3000 dolarken e, international için 15-20 bin dolar olabiliyor. Ama İtalya'da çok fazla bir fark yok açıkçası. Akademi olmasında da özelliği var tabii bu arada. E, 4000 euro civarında bir fark oluyor. Çok da bir fark yok. Uh, next question, if I graduate English taught bachelor programs in Turkey, is it accepted as a language certificate or I have to submit IELTS TOEFL certificate anyway? Okay, in uh, Milano is without the certificate. Uh, for the admission at the Institute of Marangoni, London, it's also uh, good. You need to check if you need the IELTS to apply for the UK visa. So for, for us as Marangoni, your BA in English is accepted. But for example, if you want to study in London, uh, then you might need to still give the IELTS score in order to apply for the visa. It's also uh, it's also needed to be eligible to apply visa in England. Am I right? What what? what? Uh, is it also needed to be eligible to apply visa for England? See, yeah, this is actually my point. But in Milano, you can come without. Uh, I mean, you can apply for the visa without the IELTS, and you can start Marangoni without the IELTS. Mm -hmm. In London, you need the IELTS to apply for the visa anyway. As Tugay Bey'in sorusuna yanıt olarak da İtalya'da gerekmiyor tabii ki vize prosedürü itibariyle. Ama İngiltere'de zaten uzun dönem eğitimlerde, 6 ay üzerindeki eğitimlerde, daha doğrusu akademik eğitimlerde, 11 ay üzerindeki akademik eğitimlerde farklı bir vize tipini, yani student route'a başvurmanız gerekebileceği için tabii ki bazı şartlar altında e, IELTS skorunuzun ya da TOEFL skorunuzun olması zaten vizeye başvurmak için bir şart. Eğer İngiltere düşünüyorsanız IELTS skorunuzun olması gerekiyor. Bununla alakalı aşabileceğiniz bazı yöntemler var IELTS e, şartını. Onu da danışmanlarımız sizlere dönüş yapabilirler ulaştıkları zaman. There another question from Selen. She's asking, do we get a university degree after we finish the three year program? Uh, yes, uh, uh, almost. I mean, uh, London, all programs, university degree. Uh, Paris also. Milano and Firenze, you have the university degree if you finish. Fashion design, interior design, product design and graphic design. Uh, if you do fashion business or fashion styling, in Milano is not accredited. So you can transfer to London and Paris after the second year if you want to get the accreditation. Londra ve Fransa'da sorun olmuyor fakat İtalya'da baktığımız zaman İtalya'da bazı bölümleri e, akreditasyon olmadığı için e, degree şansı yok. Bu gibi bölümlerdeyseniz ki bölümlerden bazen fashion business olduğunu söyledim mesela. Bu bölümlerde okuyorsanız bu bölümleri bitirdikten sonra ya da biti, pardon bitirmeden önce transfer yaparak e, akreditasyon olan bölümlere geçerek oradan mezun olmanız gerekecek. Pırlı Hanım teşekkür etmiş rica ederiz. Selen Hanım I guess this is for you, ringrazio tanto. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie, prego, prego, molto piacere. Uh, Rija Deris, Pekanam, thank you so much for all the information. Another question from you, this is asking, should the language test score be ready at the time of application or can a language certificate be given after the application? If so, when is it aligned? Uh, no, of course, uh, you can uh, start applying and you get uh, a conditional admission letter. Uh, then, uh, if you want to take more time to get uh, better in the language, uh, in English, uh, uh, you can uh, give the IELTS, uh, well, no later than, uh, let's say, July. But, for example, you can start applying in February, March, and give the final score of your IELTS test in uh, summer. So it's possible. It's the same with the high school diploma. You can apply even if you are at school with the latest transcript or a letter from the school. And when you have the high school diploma in summer, you can send us. Soru esnadan cevap evet ee, söylediğine göre e, programa çok daha erken başvurarak koşullu kabulle e, dil skorunuzu Temmuz'a kadar yani Mart'ta başvuran birisi dil skorunun iyi olmadığını düşünüyorsa Temmuz'a kadar önünde bir zaman olacak başvuru yapabilmek için. Keza aynısı lise öğrencileri de için geçerli. Eğer e, lise öğrencileri başvuru esnasında diplomaları yoksa Diplomaları olana kadar en azından güncel transkriptleriyle ya da güncel e, not dökümleriyle başvurup daha sonrasında e, kesinleşmiş sonuçları aldıklarında da başvurularına ek olarak iletebilirler. Another question, what is the price of two-year courses in Paris? Uh, okay, uh, can you specify what you would like to study? 
Hangi bölüm Bengüs Hanım? Onu da bir e, belirtebilirseniz. Bölüme bağlı değişecektir. Fashion. Aslında okay, fashion'da so. birazcık böyle specify etseniz daha iyi olur. Fashion'la ilgili alakalı çünkü e, şey var, opsiyonlar var. Okay, roughly it's 25,000 euro per year. Yani genel olarak fashion bazlı olarak değişiyor ama e, moda alanına baktığınızda genel olarak 25 bin euro civarında olduğunu söyledi. Fashion styling. Yeah, fashion styling uh, in Paris. We have fashion styling and creative direction and the price is 24,000 euro. Paris is 24,000 euro, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, Paris'teki opsiyon keza e, fashion styling ile alakalı 24.000 euro civarında bir fiyat çıkıyor Paris opsiyonu için. Sorularınız varsa alabiliriz. Oldukça güzel oldu bu kısım. E, soruları olanlardan aldık. Ekstra soruları olan varsa da hala iletebilir. Biz böyle daha buradayız. By the way, what is the uh, current situation in Italy? I'm asking about the COVID-19. So. Yeah, well, actually, uh, we are, would be, it's not a lockdown, uh, it's called the red zone, uh, but honestly, compared to last year, uh, not many people are around, uh, just uh, at the moment, uh, bars and restaurants and uh, theaters and uh, cinemas are closed, uh, but most of the activities are open. Uh, this is going to be until the end of April. And after that, uh, I assume that we are going to uh, get back to some kind of normality. Uh, as I mentioned before, also the vaccination campaign has started uh, quite heavily. And uh, this is something that makes us uh, believe that uh, uh, things in summer are going to be much better. Um, I mean, last year, uh, in, no one was prepared, uh, of course. And still, uh, we opened everything again on 3rd of June. Uh, this year, we are already using masks, keeping distance, uh, vaccination, uh, red zone. So I think that by May, we should be uh, back to some kind of normality. And hopefully, uh, with the vaccination campaign by October, uh, much, much better. So it's improving. It's not over yet, of course, but it's very much improving. Actually, the same thing was just also as well for Turkey as well. But unfortunately, the after government just lift some restriction and also some curfew restriction after some while the number of cases just went to worse and worse day by day for example the yesterday the daily case daily number of the case was around 37000 etc so there is there is the you know, ramadan ration is just also coming on way that's why the government is a bit under pressure to not uh, limit the people because you know it is the one of the busiest period of Turkish calendar. That's why the people will just go around the street and go for a shopping, etc. Yeah. That's why the new restrictions and new trophy precautions are coming away for Turkey too. Another question uh, from my direct box. FA is asking, I'm not sure whether we have the answer for it, but I will ask you. Uh, is it really important for you to consider student if they have any sportsman license? Sports? Yeah. No, no, no, no. Uh, it's something that we get asked sometimes, but uh, it's not relevant uh, to application at Slipto Marangoni. Efe Bey'in sorusuna istinaden bu çok da e, değerlendirilen bir kriter olmadığını söyledi Damiano. Another question, what's the price of three-year courses plus one-year postgraduate program for fashion designing in London? Okay, so the three-year program in London, it's around 22,000 pounds per year. And uh, one year master degree would be around 28,000 mm pounds. -hmm. And uh, keeping consideration that the master in London is uh, not one year, uh, it's 15 months. So it's uh, longer than one year because it has a three months internship. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be around roughly 94,000 at total for this four year education. Three plus 15 months, I guess. Ee, sorunuza istedim. 3 yıl artı 1 yıl. 3 ee, yıl kısmı okey ama 1 yıllık bir postgrad programı değil. Daha çok 15 aylık olarak sağlanıyor master programları. 3 ee, yıllık programlar için ücret yıllık 22 bin euro. Ee, postgraduate programı 15 aylık olan için de 28 bin euro civarında bir yıllık maliyeti var. Topladığımız zaman da yaklaşık 94 bin euro civarında bir e, maliyete sebep olur. E, bu tip bir 3 artı 1 Londra'da düşünüyorsanız. 
Başka sorunuz var mı? Bakalım. Sorularınız varsa alabiliriz. Yoksa da e, çeyrek gibi e, webinarımızı tamamlayabiliriz. Bu arada webinarımız diğerlerinde olduğu gibi e, bu eğitimde de keza rekord ediliyor. Akademiksin YouTube sayfasında Akademiksi ya da olarak YouTube'a baktığınızda etkinlikten yaklaşık bir saat sonra bu webinarın tekrarını da bulabilirsiniz. Katılamayan arkadaşlarınız varsa ya da ailenize ezbet etmek istiyorsanız da e, bize ulaşabilirsiniz ya da YouTube kanalımızdan e, webinarın ta, e, tekrarını izleyebilirsiniz. Zaten etkinliklerimiz devam edecek. Bu üçüncü etkinliğimiz. E, bundan öncesinde e, Domus ve Katolika ile iki etkinlik yapmıştık. Marangoni bugün üçüncü etkinliğimiz. 20 Nisan'da da Naba ile bir etkinliğimiz olacak. O da zaten etkinlik takvimimizde görebileceksiniz. Uh, we got two more questions waiting. Yeah. Uh, she is asking. She is just graduate from associate degree in Turkey. Can she be can she be eligible to apply for the bachelor degree? Look, honestly, this I must check. Uh, because uh, I'm not sure with the SSA degree. So if you uh, can uh, get the students uh, contact and uh, we are going to get uh, uh, confirmation of the answer by admission uh, and uh, I'm going to send you the answer no, probably tomorrow. Okay. Bengü Sen sorunuza esnaden Damiano'nun söylediği üzere şu an hani net bir cevap veremiyor. Şu an baktığımda Ankara şube üzerinden Aslıhan Hanım sizin danışmanınız görünüyor. Kendisi eğitim sonrasında. Hatta Nuri Bey e, burada aradaysanız e, bunun notunu alalım. E, Bengüs Hanım'la alakalı Aslıhan Hanım'a bunun hatırlatmasını yapalım. Bu konuyla alakalı size dönüş yapılacak. Pardon. E, Seniye Nurdan Hanım'mış. Çok pardon. Bunu bir kontrol edelim. Yandan da e, kim hangi danışmanın üzerine atandı ona bakıyorum. Fark etmiyor. Aynen. Ee, Seniye Hanım da Aslan Hanım üzerinde görünüyor. Onun üzerinden yine Aslan Hanım'a hatırlatmasını yapalım. Ee, Bengüsu Bacar'dan bir soru daha. In our acceptance space, do you look at the, do you look at what we done socially among other reasons like certificates? No, socially no. I would say no. Uh, as you saw, like the entry requirements for the bachelor uh, are a pretty uh, straightforward. And uh, what we ask for is uh, not even your high school uh, grades, uh, because uh, everything that you will find at the Institute of Marin is going to be different from what you did. So just your creativity and your motivation. Sosyal kısımla alakalı, yani e, sosyal hayatınızla alakalı kazandığınız sertifika var. Açıkçası çok e, kabul koşullarında ya da buna benzer burs değerlendirmelerinde çok etkin olduğunu söyleyeyim ama tabii ki genel olarak CV'nizde çok şık görüldüğünü söyleyebilirim. Hatta onun dışında vize başvurularınızda da bizim e, EXA'dan sonduğumuz, sorduğumuz aksesuar evrak gibi olabiliyor. Yani öğrencinin e, sosyal çevresinin ya da sosyal imkanlarının ya da sosyal e, meyilinin fazla olması e, sadece İtalya için olması da diğer ülkelerde açıkçası CV kısmında çok hoş görünebiliyor ve da vize mülakatlarında da bizim EXA'dan e, talep ettiğimiz dediğim gibi aksesuar evrak olarak tanımladığımız evraklardan bazıları. Another question uh, regarding the pandemic precautions, the EFE, EFE is asking, is there any possibility to postpone the education due to the pandemic in upcoming months? Well, uh, look, uh, last year we did give this opportunity. So we uh, updated our terms and condition in summer and we had some students who decided to postpone, regardless of the fact that uh, our campus was open in October. But I understand that uh, uh, no one could actually understand the well the situation. Um, for now, we don't have this option for October because the situation seems to be you know, getting better. Should the situation get worse, then I'm sure that uh, we will take measures. Şu an için İtalya'daki durumların e, iyi olması sebebiyle böyle bir olasılık en azından Oktober için yok olduğunu söyledi. İmmoyarus ki de e, bundan sonrası süreçinde olmaz. 
Selen Hanım, e, biz teşekkür ederiz katılımınız için. Size de iyi günler diliyoruz. E, I guess this is for you, Damiano. Gracias, buona giornata. <gülüyor> Uh, well, uh, prego, it's like have a nice day. So thank you and uh, congratulations. It's uh, written uh, correctly, Selen. <gülüyor> Seni Hanım, rica ederiz. Nazlı Hanım, bekliyor olacağız detayları şubemizle görüşmeniz için. Üniversite sınavında herhangi bir puanı geçmek gerekiyor mu? Bu soru sorulmuştu galiba ama tekrardan soralım. Uh, is there any minimum uh, score limitation of universe, uh, Turkish university exam? Okay. 150. 150, yeah. YKS. YKS. Az önce de bahsettiği gibi YKS'den minimum 150 puan almak gerekiyor. Ki zaten bu puan kısmı okula kabulden ziyade sizin bu kısma çok fazla girmeyeceğim ama İtalya kabul kısmında zaten bir de vize aşaması var. İtalya'daki vize süreci gereği okul da bir kısmına dahil oluyor bu sizin denklik işlemleri, planın olmakta denklik işlemlerinizin yapılabilmesi için. Bu anlamda da barajı geçme şartı var. Zaten okuldan kabul alsanız bile, hani sınav sonucu olmadan okuldan kabul alsanız bile e, vizeye başvurabilmek için ya da vize sürecinize başlayabilmek için e, barajı geçmiş olma şartınız var. E, o da tabii ki minimum 150 puanlık bir TYT, AYT skoru istiyor İtalya Konsolosluğu. Başka da sorumuz yok gibi. Ee, zaten az önce de bahsettiğim gibi danışmanlarımızı hep her, her katılımcıya bir tane danışman esayin ettik. Sorularınız olması takdirinde zaten kendileri dönüş yapacaklar. Ama size dönüş yapılacağı kadar beklemek istemiyorsanız da dediğim gibi bize akademiks.com.tr'den e, iletişim kısmından en yakın şubenizi seçebilirsiniz. Ya da direkt bizi telefonla da arayabilirsiniz diyorum. Galiba başka da sorumuz yok. Etkinliklerimiz devam edecek. 20 Nisan'da e, bir etkinliğimiz daha var keza. Yine aynı konseptte fakat farklı bir okulu ağırlayacağız. Onunla alakalı da takipte kalabilirsiniz. Bunun dışında da 10 ve 11 Nisan'da Akare Yurtdışı Eğitim Fuarlarında öğrencilerimizle birlikte olacağız. Online bir şekilde. Akare Yurtdışı Eğitim Fuarı Türkiye'nin en büyük fuarlarından bir tanesi. Bu anlamda oldukça fazla okul opsiyonunu ağırladığımız e, fuarlar. Normalde bu fuarları da biz ee, fiziksel olarak yoğun bir katılımla gerçekleştiriyorduk. Gerek İstanbul, İzmir, Ankara, İstanbul'da hem Anadolu'da hem Avrupa'da olmak üzere. Ancak pandemi koşulları sebebiyle bu fuarı e, online olarak gerçekleştireceğiz. 10-11 Nisan tarihleri arasında detaylar için danışmanlarımızdan, Akademiks'ten ya da akare.com.tr'den kayıt formu doldurarak da online olarak fuara katılma şansınız olabilir. Ee, Damiano, it was really hard to do It was really nice to have you as, as always, actually. It was also a really nice chance for me to refresh everything during the presentation. I really like the amount of the question. It, it shows the interest of the students regarding the Institute of Marangoni. And I hope we will have nice perspective for you soon. And if anyone who has a further question, they will be reaching to academics councils accordingly. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, it's been uh, my pleasure and I agree with you. Uh, the number of people and the number of questions uh, showed a really high interest. So I'm glad that everybody enjoyed and, uh, you know, keep in touch with the Institute of Marangoni, with academics uh, and uh, most important in these days, uh, stay safe. You too. Yeah. Have a safe day. And, uh, arkadaşlar, hepinize e, sağlıklı ve mutlu bir gün diliyorum. Dediğim gibi 20 Nisan'daki diğer etkinliğimizde görüşmek üzere. Hepiniz kendinize çok iyi bakın. Damiano, uh, how do you say in Italian? Grazie. Arrivederci. Grazie, arrivederci. Uh, okay, see you. Bye -bye. <laughs> okay, ciao, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> ciao.